Uh, so here's the question from Juan R. Is it bad leaving a MacBook Pro mid-2010 plugged in all the time? Uh, question mark. Um, I don't believe it should be bad. Um, I do not believe it should be bad. So there are some questions out there. Um, you know, this is one of those stupid. Qu this is one of those stupid questions that was a relevant question like 20 years ago, two decades ago, um, but somehow people are still asking it. Um, so way back in the day, way back, back in the day of Windows 9 to 5, uh, there, there was a bunch of arguments out in the world about whether you should turn your computer on and off. Uh, so the thing was, is computers used a lot more power back in the day than they do now. So if you left them on 24 hours a day, uh, you would get a pretty decent electric bill from it, right? Uh, the other thought, though, was that if you turn the computer on and off, uh, that every time you turn the computer on and off uh, that causes an electric charge obviously to, to go throughout the computer and that the parts would start to break after a period of time so simply by pushing the button um, having the capacitors load up and have all the resistors and all that kind of stuff doing what they would do is that by turning it on and off that caused stress on the physical components of the system and you would the, the computer would fail after a period of time uh, to be honest you know I first started in this argument like I say about 20 years ago and frankly, though, the argument was probably long past dead even by that point. Um, computers at one time used to be a lot more fragile than they are today. Um, but, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> We're talking about like 1982 or something. Um, at this point in time, whether you leave your computer on all the time or whether you turn it on and off, really, 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 really doesn't matter. Uh, I know personally for myself, um, so I have a nice fancy Uber 2013 uh, MacBook Pro, fully loaded. And so what I do with that, personally, just so I can tell you guys what I personally do, is I essentially have it plugged in all the time. Uh, and then when I need to do something like go shoot a video and type into it while I'm sitting up here, I unplug it and bring it up here to, to do whatever I need to do. Uh, I don't, especially with a MacBook, right? I don't know, maybe it was a Lenovo or an Asus. But with a MacBook, I can't, I can't see the downside of leaving it plugged in all the time. The only way, and I do have to put this out there, the only way uh, I could see the downside of having it plugged in all the time uh, with your name, Juan R. Uh, if you're not in the United States, uh, the question may become how clean is your power? So if you go to a lot of other countries, uh, they do not have uh, the electric grids we have here in the United States. So if you have your computer plugged into a dirty power grid all the time, obviously it raises the chances that something stupid will happen. You know, a power spike or something uh, will go through the, uh, the line and fry it. But that's really, I mean, again, it depends on where. I have to say that because I've traveled to enough third world countries where I would be worried about that. Um, again, though, that, that has more to do with the crappy power supply, the, the crappy electric grid than it does your MacBook Pro. Um, but if you have a, if you're on a good first world electric grid, um, I would just leave it in all, leave it plugged in all the time. I, I mean, it really is essentially that that's what I do with mine. I have mine plugged in all the time. I open it up when I need to use it. I unplug it when I come up to something like this. I plug it back in and, uh, and you won't have any issues. The other thing though, I would say it's probably best too, that you leave it plugged in all the time as much as possible, at least, uh, because one thing that people don't think about is that the batteries in these laptops die. Uh, batteries have a real life expectancy. It's one of those things people don't really talk about a lot. Um, they kind of think the battery will last the, the life of their computer. Um, and that's not the case. Um, Batteries back in back in the day, if you're looking about 10, 10 some odd years ago, uh, batteries were really only built to last uh, about a year. Again, that's one of those things people don't. Why? Why does my battery, you know, be like two years later, and people two years after the person bought the computer, and they're like, why does my battery not work like it used to? And it's like, well, because it's essentially a disposable battery, and it's two years old and it's only good for about a year. Um, so that is one thing to realize is as your computer gets older. Your, your battery just functionally dies. There's just, there's just the chemical makeup and all of that uh, uh, is less and less and less and less and less and less efficient. So having, especially 2010, so that's a five-year-old uh, laptop at this point, having it plugged in all the time, make sure that it will always work when you go to pick it up and use it.
Because, I mean, that, that can be a problem. If you don't keep it plugged in all the time, well, then you open it up and the battery's dead. And then you got to go find the plug. Uh, kind of get what I'm saying there? So, um, yeah, as far as the Mac is concerned, as far as the Mac is concerned, there is zero issue with it being plugged in all the time. The only issue at all, um, and I would even suggest that you do, really. Um, and the only issue at all, as I say, is if, you, if you're just on a, a crappy power grid. If you're on a crappy power grid, that's its own little world. But as long as you have a decent power grid, keep it plugged in all the time. That's going to be your best bet.